it was absolutely extraordinary. So places that the budget airlines go to, that the sun at this time of the year is still shining, a little bit out of the way, a little bit different, yeah. lovely food and wine. And about an hour and a half to get to. All of them were so easy to reach, that was the thing. I kind of always thought, oh, it's going to be a bit of a hassle, but not a bit. Found myself in the best locations. And it was my 40th birthday last week, so this oh, is going to be the ultimate way to celebrate. Birthday. Thank you. What Thank did you, you. drink? Uh, uh, some wine, quite a lot of wine. Did you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And Campari and Orange, it turns out, oh. is a drink that I love. Who knew? Who knew until Your I turned 40? Aunties drink that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, and me. I, um, mm. I went to Norway over the weekend for a wedding, Yeah, uh, as you do, and, uh, and that's what I was drinking. Can you <laughs> see that? <laughs> Yeah. Did, uh, it did, took me by surprise. How did it taste? It's <laughs> surprisingly good. Can you, can you do the pronunciation of it? Or? No, no, there's no need. No, we can't. Yeah, you can, you can read it. Sure. Uh, it's actually it pronounced orse. Orse. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. What have you got for us? Well, I brought back uh, some sips from my travels, uh, some sunny sips. The first one I brought was from Bordeaux, and oh. it's a glass of white Bordeaux. Now, Bordeaux's famous for red wine, but actually, if you like oh, Sauvignon nice. Blanc and nice I love sharp a Sauvignon Blanc. Zest, yeah, this is Sauvignon Blanc. Does, and, it, does somebody say it tastes it's like cat, a cat peed on a gooseberry bush. They have said that in the past, they really have. But yes. this one, £5.29 at Aldi, people always think, oh, Bordeaux's going to be a very expensive place. But there are some bargains oh, to be had. I think I'd like anything at £5.29. <laughs> it's got a proper zing, hasn't it? Really proper nice. zing, I think that's exactly right. It's a real kind of dart of citrus. It's an uplifting refresher to kind of get you, get you set for the afternoon ahead. That's very nice. What was your favourite moment? The, when I was milking the cow in Treviso at the top of the mountain, because it, it, it all fell out the wrong way of the cow, and I was, uh, I just, I couldn't stop laughing. It was very, <laughs> it, yeah, it really, it really was one of those moments where, you know, you shouldn't work with children or animals, but it was, it was amazing. I mean, Venice, you know, going up the Grand Canal, like James Bond was incredible in a speedboat. The food in San Sebastian, those little, uh, so those mini tapas, mm. unbelievable, pinchos they call them, mm. and it's so cheap, it's so accessible. The beach is always about two minutes away if you feel like a snooze, perfect. Lovely. That's very nice. It's I good, really isn't it? Like and I've that. got a blowout version from Bordeaux as well. This one's Does that the. Mean a posh, a it means posh. Yeah, a bit more money. So this one's expensive. thirteen pounds fifty from the Wine Society. Oh, I don't like smells. the smell of that. Oh, you don't like the smell. See, that smells Chardonnay-ish to me. Well, it's because it's been in oak barrels. You're spot on. Oh. It's been languishing oak barrels, and that's what you spend the money on. Some people love it. Some people don't like the flavour at all. But I'm it's not a, keen on that. Not keen on that. Well, no. It's you don't like an oaky wine, do you? I certainly don't. But we were Fair talking earlier on, and Amanda said, "I don't like Chardonnay." I said, "Do you like Chablis?" Yeah. And she said, "Yes." Because it's Oaked. Because so so it's it's the big buttery oaky ones that you yes, don't like. Yes, I don't like oak if that's been stored. No, in you're an moving oak. away from it as well. We should, we should put like a little help in the morning. I've never seen anyone do that no, before. It's, you're yeah. moving away from the wine. Look, I let's refresh the, the way down there. You did. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll have to uh, wash oh, it through let's with wash this. Wash it away with this. Uh, this is a class of pecorino. It's taste the difference, oh, pecorino. I nothing love cheese. It is. You know, it's nothing to do with the cheese, but it does actually go very well with pecorino cheese. It's a great variety from Italy, and this one is seven pounds from Sainsbury's. It's another zinger. So if you're a fan of Pinot Grigio, I like this. I love Pinot great. Grigio. Yeah, there you go. So this one's brilliant. Oh. The thing about Sardinian wines, uh, uh, they're brilliant and they do a fantastic Vermentino, which is a local zingy grape. They're quite hard to find in the UK. So I've chosen a couple here from different places in Italy that I absolutely love. Mm. I might just have another sip of that. So they keep the, the Sardinians keep the good stuff for themselves, do well, they? Do you know, there's an awful lot of good stuff out there as well. The Reds, Cannonau, they call it. So beefy and hearty. For when the nights mm. draw in, if you want that last taste of summer, I would definitely be saying, that's get a, yourself out there. That's another reason to go then. I would definitely be. You know, I think mm. I am actually going to go back this autumn. It was so good. Are you? Uh, yeah, I really am. It was yeah. Sardinia. blew my mind. Um, Diantha. Okay. This is a blend of different grapes from Sicily. And this is a bit more tropical. It's got Malvasia in it and a it's, little... So it's bubbly. It looks like it's yeah, got the, bubbles in it. It does there actually a look a bit like that. In it? Well, they might have, they it might have bottled off? it under a bit of... It certainly hasn't gone off. But I think <laughs> they probably bottled it under a bit of carbon dioxide to keep it fresh by the look of it. But that'll just disappear as you swirl it off. That feels like a breakfast drink to me. Oh, I like your talking. That's phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. It's a bit more fragrant, isn't yep, it? Yeah, that's the right label. They're, 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 they're just saying, is that the right label? Yeah, that's the right label. It is Diantha. Right, it is £9.99 from m and um, that sounds Greek. It, well, do you know what? Gracanico is one of the grapes in here, funnily enough. Right. So a lot of the grapes did come from Greece, mm. going up through Italy and then over to France. Um, that's quite... F it's quite flowery, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really fragrant. And if you're going to have something like gingery prawns, a little bit of aromatic spice, that's the absolute belter mm. for the weekend. Oh, that's very nice. Friday night fun. And, of course, Treviso. Uh, well, that's the land of Prosecco, the kind of green, verdant land. Prosecco. Do you really? I think Prosecco is nicer than Champagne. And it's cheaper. It, it's... It's got... 
less of a of a, a bite or that, mm. that that's so gentler it's more fruity yes. and a lot of people find so it less, yes. acidic less acidic than acidity. some less, champagne less not all dry, champagne but some champagne a bit more is? fruit and of course brilliant for making cocktails as well because of it so oh. if you wanted to put in a little is bit it, of but is it just that it's not made in champagne exactly it, so they're it. making it also in a slightly different method which means it's slightly cheaper um, but this one here Sophia number three Prosecco is a total steal at Majestic for six pounds sixty six oh that's really good I love that it's really good for the price you do have to buy a minimum of six bottles but you can mix oh, them up with shame. that. I tell you what, if you're stocking up for any kind of party, this is the stuff. That's you could really keep nutty, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Mm. And it's it's not just your bog standard fruity one. It's got a bit of complexity about it and it's oh, it's one that Oh, I it's very probably... complex just oh, like me yeah. that. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next, mm. what's the blowout? The blowout. I don't think you need a blowout after no. having that because yeah, well, for the so price, that's gorgeous. Really nice. The blowout comes from a particularly famous spot within the area where they make Prosecco. This one here uh, is Col Veteraz Prosecco and it's got a DOCG on the label. And if you ever see that on your Prosecco, that's just an indication that it's a little step up in quality. So all the flavour should be is a little more intense, a little more dynamic. But, you know, for all so I know, you like might even... that's like a certificate of a... Exactly. It's a denomination de controllata, a garantata. My Italian's terrible. Stop I'm struggling. It. Guaranteed quality. Is Nobody likes to show off.